Well, I'm here in, in uh, Argentina, um, in a little town called Cafayete, but uh, it's in the, the hills. Um, well, kind of a, if you look that way, you'll see the Andes don't look that way right now, camera person. But I just want to talk about some of the issues with uh, Argentina. Their gross domestic product is about $4,000 per person per year. So uh, that's why you see a lot of poverty here. Uh, one of the issues, and I've talked about this in other videos, but the um, unbelievable number of homes that are, that are in the uh, state of construction, and they're, they often go on in construction for many years because uh, they don't have a very strong capital market here in, uh, in Argentina. So without capital, you end up buying the land first, and then you buy some bricks, and you maybe make a foundation, and uh, then you buy some more bricks, and, and you start building the walls, and, and it may take five or ten years for you to build your house. So um, there's a, a lot of issues here with uh, Argentina. If you look here, you'll see uh, um, chickens in the backyard. It, there's a lot more self-sufficiency in, uh, in Argentina than there is in America because we don't typically grow much more than a, a, a token garden in our backyard. If you study Argentine capitalism, you can understand that Juan Perón, in many respects, though considered a hero here in Argentina, destroyed capitalism in Argentina by creating so many workers' unions and the entitlement to a job. People now feel entitled to a job without feeling required to be productive. And that is the death knell to an economy and productivity sinks. Without a lot of capital, how can a nation do things? Everything that's done by hand take a lot longer taking a tree out an axe and a shovel and a wheelbarrow. Without capital, the nation's productivity is far less. One man in a machine could have this done in an hour. Instead, they've been working for days trying to take down this tree. That cement truck moves slowly, bag by bag. Yes. Here in the U.S., sure we have laborers, we get a lot more work done with dump trucks and steamrollers. Dump trucks and steamrollers. Dump trucks and steamrollers, that's what it takes to get things done. Sure, we still have employees. Not everything's done by machine. Quick, efficient, move on.
on to the next pothole.